Hey guys, quickly before we start this video, I made a goal for myself to reach 1k subs by the end of this year, and if we can do that, that'll be amazing. And yeah guys, enjoy the video. Yo, how's it going everybody? It's -a me, Mario, and welcome back to another episode of Datapack Review. For this episode, I coded a datapack that will make speedrunning extremely more challenging, even for experienced players with, yeah, that are really good at speedrunning and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get straight into what this data pack does. Alright, so as soon as I will enable this data pack, you will see in just one sec that it's always gonna be nighttime. Uh, it's always gonna be nighttime and there is nothing you can do about it and it's it will stay night forever. Y yeah, that's the first feature. Let's move on to the next features. Alright, so the next few features will only happen if you initiate the data pack. And now to do that is slash function speedrun initiate. And as you can see, a bunch of stuff comes up. First of all, I have a limited time, a limited amount of jumps that I can have. So if I if I reach 50 jumps, it's game over. Uh, I will show you guys that it's game over in just uh, a second over there, but as you can see as well, we have only five hearts for this data pack. Uh, you only have five hearts to make it extremely more harder, and I don't know if you're noticing this, but I am not staying in place, and the reason for that is if you don't move for about three seconds or four seconds, it will spam your chat and you will get poisoned. And you have to keep moving and that's all the features that uh, right now were triggered without anything uh, to make them triggered so let's move on to a, a few other features that oh whoops that um, need to be triggered in a different way all right so the next feature uh, uses villagers I'm just gonna throw this dirt basically if you get close to villagers you get blindness and the villager dies. You heard him die, you can see his particles. You get blindness for 10 seconds. So if you get, not 10, sorry, 30 seconds. So, oh, oh no, this is bad. Uh, so if you get close to a village, you will get blindness and you know you're next to a village. Moving on to the next feature. So, some of you may have thought that you can just sleep to make the night pass. Well, no, 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 guys. You can't sleep in this game mode. You instantly get blown up just like you're in the nether. And that's it, one of the uh, other features that will make this super hard that if you accidentally misclick your bed in the overworld, if you try to clutch or something, I have no idea, then you will instantly die moving on to the next feature all right so the next feature in this data pack basically sets you a certain time to beat the game and if you don't beat the game in that time it's game over so basically you have 20 minutes to beat the game or else you die and to prove that i'm gonna set a scoreboard players set mario lifetime uh, if I set lifetime to, I believe, 12, no, 11,970, in just a sec, it says 10 minutes left. So, if I set my score to 23,970, in just a sec, you guys could see, it's game over. Because 20 minutes have passed, technically, and you died... And now you can just spectate the world forever, and yeah. Alright guys, so the last feature uh, consists of Eye of Enders. So basically, uh, when you throw an Eye of Ender, it always has a zero chance of you getting it back. So if I throw it here a little quick, as you can see, it disappears. And it's a 0% chance to get it back, so you have to get extra Ender, uh, ender Pearls to get to, to be able to reach the stronghold but also as soon as i hold it as you can see i have only four throws remaining for my eye of vendors so basically if i throw it once again you will see here in just a second that i only have three throws remaining and it spams your chat which is really annoying so that's also a bit challenging and as you can see here two throws remaining one throw remaining 
and that's that's it right there i don't have any more throws for my avenger as soon as i right click it just instantly disappears without a trace and yeah guys that was all for this video if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and subscribe i could possibly add more new features to this data pack because it doesn't have that many features so if you guys have any ideas for features that you think I should add to make speedrunning more challenging, you can leave them in the comments below and I might make an update for this data pack. And hopefully you enjoy this video and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.